Hey guys, it's Daniel here from Pixel Fix and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you three ways in which we can send a welcome email on user registration. Firstly, it will be in the controller itself on registration. Second, we will use an observer. And thirdly, we will make use of events and listeners. All right, so let's start off by creating our notification. And we'll just call it welcome email notification. All right, so the first way we can do this is in the controller itself when we register a user. So right here, before we return the user, we can say user notify, and we want to notify the user with a new welcome email notification. And that is basically it. So let's head over to Postman and we can see this in action. So let's send a new request to our register route. And as you can see, we received our information back, meaning our registration was successful. And if we head over to MailTrap, you can see a few seconds ago, the new notification has been sent. Great, so that works pretty well. Now, the second way we can do this is through the use of an observer class. Now, an observer is a specific class that listens for specific events that happen on your model. So let's create our observer and I'll show you what it means. So if you look at the methods in the observer, you'll see um, whenever the model has been created, updated, deleted, so on and so forth. So the one we're looking for is whenever the model or the user gets created. So what we'll do is in the created event, we want to notify the user and we want to notify them with a new welcome email notification. Okay. So what now as well as we need to tell Laravel to listen or to use this observer class to listen to the events on the model. And we do this by registering it in the event service provider. Now, again, in the event service provider, we can do it in two ways. Firstly, we can tell it in the boot method about the user and we want the user to be observe. And we want it to use the user observer class so this is the first way we can do this right so and the second way we can do this is by specifying the uh, basically the observer property which is an array that takes in the user class and we tell the user class to make use of the user observer class okay so we can say this is method one or this is method two so we'll just use the one in the boot method which seems fine we'll just comment that out i'll leave it in for reference and now before we test it we just need to go back to the controller and remove this notify and then we should be good to test it in postman all right so if we send our information okay let's wait for the confirmation all right now we can see our u has been created let's go over to mail trap and there we go there's our welcome email notification now using an observer to send a welcome email might not always be what you're looking for because an observer will trigger every single time a model or a user gets created. But there might be cases where you don't want to send an email. For example, if a user registers um, an account using the registration endpoint, then you want to send an email. But when an admin uses a backend to, send, to register a user, you don't necessarily want to send an e a welcome email. In this case, an observer is not going to work. 
So the third way to do it is through the use of events and listeners. So let's go ahead and create our event. So we'll call it um, user reg ooh, user register event. Okay, and then what we'll do is we we'll also create a listener for it. And we'll call the user register event listener. All right, so now we can hook up our event and listener. And we do this by adding it into the listen property of the event service provider. So we've got our user register event. And we want our... Uh, register oh, no. user register event listener to listen for that event all right so we we'll also want to disable the observer for now and in our register event we want to accept the user as part of the dispatch method and make it part of the event and we can do so by accepting it in the construct method We can also utilize PHP 8's um, constructor property promotion. And that's it. In our event listener, we now have access to the user through the event. And we can then call the notify method. And we will notify the user new welcome email notification. All right, so next we just need to dispatch the actual event on user, user registration. We can do this if we go back to our controller and we can use the store method on our user service. And by the way, guys, if you're not following um, what we've done here is you can go back to one of the previous episodes where we've refactored our code to utilize a user service. All right, so back to the code. Just before we return the user, we can call the user register event. And then we can call the dispatch method and pass it the user. Now, this is where I said we'll be able to access the user through the event and through the listener. Down here. All right, so if I've done this correctly, we can head back to Postman. And all right, let's just update um, our email address. It's taking a while, so it's looking good. All right, user's been created, meaning that we should have an email now. And there we go. Email has been created, and that is how you do it through an event and a listener. All right, so just to recap, we can send this welcome email in three different ways. Firstly, directly through the controller using the notify method on the user itself. Secondly, through the use of an observer. But this is a very specialized method of doing it, so it might not always be what you want. And definitely the third way is most likely the best way to do this through the use of events and listeners. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate this. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. It will definitely help me out to bring you guys more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.